This video is presented by EA Creator Network. A big thank you to EA and Co-Master for giving me exclusive access to try out the new story mode on Grid Legends. Hello everybody, it is me Jess and welcome to another video on my channel. I'm really excited for this video because I've been invited by EA and Co-Master to look at the story mode on the Grid Legends game. As some of you may know, there was a story mode on F1 2021 which is called Breaking Point and it features Aiden Jackson and Casper Ackerman. And the story mode on Grid Legends is called Driven to Glory and it features sex education actor Shuti Gatwa. So what do you get from this story mode? Well, you'll be able to take on a fly on the wall style playable documentary and it uses virtual production methods, which I think is really, really cool. And it's similar to what is featured on The Mandalorian. Now on my channel, I'm only able to show you the first six events in a story mode. And if you want to see what's to come in story mode, well, you have to find out on the 25th of February when the game comes out. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we start the first six events, this part of story mode sets the scene of what it is going to be about. And that's Raven West, Nathan McCain and Laura Carvalho leading the charge here at Strada Alpina. With Seneca's Yume Tanaka hot on their heels and has been for the last eight laps. Could this be the race where she makes Grid World Series history? Valentin Manzi, a one-man army in the midfield, trying to gain ground but being blocked by North Point. I can't get through. Tell them to defend. I woke up in a great mood that day. The weather was perfect. The team was finally getting noticed. Number 22 defends their position. Nice one, 22. Keep pushing. Seneca has been on a magic carpet ride this year. Yume Tanaka now. Cavalio in her sights. Poised for the overtake. She commits. Raven West forgets. It is easier to chase than it is to lead. And she's through. This proves beyond doubt that Raven West can be challenged and will be challenged. Yume was definitely on form, but there were a lot of laps to go. My focus was the same as always. Just close the gap. Whatever it takes. Laura, get the position back. I'll try. Leave it to me. I won't let her pass. It's McCain versus Tanaka, an unbelievable race for Seneca. Pressure. <laughs> no, no, screw that. Look, if these idiots can't keep their cars on the track, it's their problem. Tanaka spots a gap. It's all or nothing. McCain doesn't like it. Contact. Tanaka spins out. North Point have nowhere to go. This is a huge incident. Tanaka into the wall. Manzi sideways on the grass. Seneca number 21 out. Number 22 damage. Debris littering the track. This is unbelievable. So you don't take any responsibility for what happened? Hell no. Okay, 22, there's too much debris on track. We need you to come in. That's a negative. Do not retire the car. I repeat, do not retire. Haddo, I'm seeing significant damage to 22. And no response from you, May. Is she okay? The medics are on the scene. That's all I know. Just focus on the race. Keep me updated. Can you confirm race strategy? Look, half the fill can't finish. If we do, we're in the point. We can't quit. Understood. Right then, so this is Strada Alpina where we begin our Driven to Glory journey and we visited Strada Alpina where we went in the Aston Martin car as our last Grid Legends video. So, we had damage from the crash. Okay, Keep pushing. We can't see any malfunctions. Just get over the line. We've had damage from the crash but we are determined to try and get past as many cars as we can. Now this is a track created by code masters and this track is very very technical and it's got some lovely features to it so so we have one car trying to get past it and now we've got a lovely bridge coming up and as you can see we're using the racing line still because i'm still not used to this track yet 
But this track is so nicely designed. Right. A few more corners to go, and then we will finish this part. We've gained one place. We could get more. Cross the finish line. We got a bit of damage by Dofi. We're going to get fifth. Ooh, photo finish. We got fifth. And that's Raven West, Nathan McCain, and Laura Carvalho leading the charge here at Strada Alpina. Danaka spots a gap. It's all or nothing. Contact. In a situation like this, all you can do is hope that the drivers are all okay. It's on? Yeah? Okay. My name is Marcus Ado, and I'm the team principal for Seneca Racing. Hey, gorgeous. No, 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 no. We uh, have that um, dinner with the board of directors tomorrow. Uh huh. Some people are born into racing. I had to work for it. My parents run a Nigerian restaurant in South London, and for them, success was never about fancy dishes or expensive ingredients. It was about believing in who they hired and always striving to grow. When I got a chance to run my own racing team, I took the same approach. Morning, Tooth. Hey, there she is. In case you live under a rock, this is Yume Tanaka, racing legend. I got a sec to talk about the new braking system. Sure. Marcus Ado is something of a prodigy. He was only 25 when he convinced Seneca's board to start investing in unknown drivers and to hire him to run the team. He has the maturity of someone twice his age, and that's gained him enormous respect. The only problem is his approach hasn't worked. Last year, his number two driver set a record for the most last place finishes in a single season. This year's replacement performed so poorly in pre-season trials that he quit before the first race. Is it an embarrassment? No. You have to see the bigger picture. Finding a great recipe involves experimentation. Sure, we had a few rough years, but once we succeed, and I really believe we're going to, we may well become the best team on the grid. But for now, what? Season starts in three days, you're down a driver. <sighs> Guess I'll have to find a new driver. Our objective is to finish ahead of Matteo Vega, and it's our rookie season of circuit racing. Here we go. So these are the cars we're going to be going into. I wonder what car it has put us in. That is a nice Audi. I would actually like to have an Audi as a dream car once. That would be pretty cool. So here we go then. We are about to get started with this event. We're starting 10th. Here's our rival on the left-hand side. Didn't get the best of starts, and it's a okay. nice sunset. The to place in front of Vega. He's been having some good races recently. Oh. We did want to hit him on the first race, did we? Now we're going to try and get past Alistair. We're doing quite well at the moment. Getting past quite a few cars than expected here. Quite tight turns coming up as well. We got three laps as well. Oh. Bit of a bump draft coming up as well. Straightlinespeed.com. There we go. Nicely does it. Nicely does it. Don't hit the walls either because that's not going to look good. <laughs> so we're already up to third. We've got two cars to get past and then we'll head up into first position. Easier said than done. Here we go. Lovely backdrop as well of the London Eye. It's very nice. And it just gives me a great opportunity to show you the nuances of this track. And we are in the lead. One second. Right, let's pick it up. Try to push closer to Vega. So we are increasing the gap quite a lot to him, which is nice. Oh, almost hit the wall there. Jesus Christ, man. That was very, very tricky. Final few corners we go. And we're going to come across the line to hopefully win our first race. 
The line is upon us. I almost spoke too soon then. Jeez. Here we go. We have won. There we go, Ness. We got finished eighth or higher to impress Marcus here today in London once again in the circuit racing rookie season. We're in the open wheelers, which is something that we are accustomed to in the Formula One game. So it should be a lot easier for us. But we got a tough grid and we got some tough rivals on our hand and tough corners to negotiate. We got three laps ahead of us as well. So we will see what happens if we hit our objective. So, are we ready then to get started? And it is lights out and away we go. Ado is scouting a new driver for Seneca. This could be your break. You've got nothing to lose. Give it your best shot. Oh, we're falling away already. No, we don't want that. We don't want to be falling away already. Now, this is going to be tough than we thought. Wait, wait, how did that not give us a nemesis by just doing that and hitting him? Okay. That is odd. Well, her, but you know what I mean. Right. Try and get past. I think that was almost the track limit central, but you know what I mean now. Oh, we're kind of bump drafted. Okay, if that's how you want to play it, that's how you want to play it. We're bump drafted. Now we've got a heavy braking zone coming up. Be careful to not hit the wall there. We did not hit the wall. That is good. So we're still in eighth position. So we can't make any mistakes. We almost made a mistake there. Jeez. Right, come on. Come on. You can't afford to lose any more positions. Get past these guys. Oh, someone's lost a wheel. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What has happened to my teammate? Jesus. We got... Three, two, two positions here. This is fantastic. Final lap. We're up to fourth. Cooper Wright, here we go. We got past him, lovely. But our goal is not to win. Our goal is to get eighth. So we are in a much better position than we were, obviously, at the start. So Mia is in the lead, and we want to get the lead now. Oh, we, she's gone off as well. This is mind-blowing from the number 22 car as we are about to negotiate the next couple of turns. We're coming across the line. The fireworks are going on and we win another race. Honestly, I don't think there's any way I don't could ignore your performance today. I've got a feeling you'll be having some very interesting discussions. Congratulations. And Seneca continued to have trouble during testing with multiple drivers involved in on-track incidents. No mistakes this time. Hmm. Run it again, but with less throttle. Don't worry, just superficial damage. We'll get there. I promise. They now look to their new signing, taking on the number 22 to turn around this bad spell. Check, check, this is Ajit. 
the lead engineer. We've had a few bad days with the test drivers and I still need help with the setup, so give me a few laps and please bring the car back intact. We are now at the test track at Crescent Valley and our objective is to complete three laps in the semi-pro season of time trial. Now the team hasn't had the best of luck with testing, so our job is to bring the car home. So here we go then, let's get started with this beaut of a car. Here we go then, this speed is gonna be beautiful electrifying. And I said that word wrong. Push it. Oh, almost a bit of drift in there. For the first race of the series, we'll need you to keep up with you, mate. So while you're getting data for a Jeep, just get a feel for the car. Right, we, of course we've got to get a feel for the car. The car feels actually quite nice to drive there, so they picked a good car for us. Nice split that we've got as well. If you want to try a corner with a touch of handbrake, I'd like to see you control the slide. Oh, we got to do a slide, do we? Oh, God. There we go. Beautiful. Not the best. I actually forgot what the handbrake button was, but I think we lost a bit of time there. Oh, this baggy kind of reminds me of Daytona. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful here. Let's see if we can hit top speed in this section. Topspeed.com. Second lap. Well, let's see if we can improve now. Now we've got a feel for the car. Another slide, which is good for us. The corner is flat out, but keep it under control. Flat out? You sure you can get it flat out, my friend? Oh my God, yes, you can. Yes, there we go, lovely. Now you can't go flat out here. You can go on the slide there. Be careful that you don't go on the grass, my friend. So we've already gained quite a lot of time. So let's see how many seconds we are. So we're up three seconds. Nice. Up three seconds, but we know we can improve. I think the car behind is our personal best, so... Use that as motivation to try and get. Oh, 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 we lost a bit of time. We lost a bit of time. In a race scenario, mistakes will cost you places. Oh, we kind of did not want to have a track limit warning there. So I believe we got an invalidated lap. That's a bit of a shame. That is a bit of a shame. Let's see what we would have done anyway by finishing it and crossing the line. Okay. Oh. Now. Okay, push, 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 push. Perfect. We completed three laps. Jobs are good in. My mother has this saying. It's the farmer that makes the dish. What that means is you have to adapt to the ingredients on in hand. I went to scout one driver but found another. And I was impressed by a chat, so I made an offer. Wait, you were impressed by a conversation? <laughs> That's right. You see, to me, when a, a person's capable of greatness, it's not just about performance. It's about them, who they are. Great drivers are like the great in, in any field. They have an obsession, a hunger. They have a need to be more to prove what only they know they can be. I haven't met anyone this passionate since I found Yumi. There's Seneca's number 22 on the grid taking the lead to semi-pro. And as Mark has done, has gone through all of his reserves, they really want Seneca's last hope. Absolutely, it's a tough position to be in. If they drop out for any reason, Yumi Tanaka will be racing on her own and that would spell disaster for Seneca. So this is our first race then. We've got tricky conditions to start off with. Obviously, we're in Moscow, so what could you expect? So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. And our target is to finish 10th or higher in the race. But we finished 8th in run race, so it should be easy, right? 
wrong is going to be a big challenge. So without further ado, these cars are brilliant. Just try and keep up with you, mate. Bring the car back in one piece. So our engineer wants us to bring the car in one piece. Well, we're going to give it a go, my friend. So let's go. Three, two, one, go. And this is your first race. There's no need to push the car to the limit. Just give us a good drive. Follow you, mate, lead. You can barely see ya. You can barely see Jesus. This is almighty. I said it would be a challenge. I didn't think it would be this challenging. And it's in the night time as well. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got past a few cars already. We're ahead of our team, mate. Someone spun. Oh my goodness. That made me jump. That made me jump there. Right, Royal Posco is our next rival, and we got Yanya as well. The chat is very slippery, so we've got to be a little bit early on the brakes. Nice slide there, which gets us into third. Now he's gone off a bit. We should take advantage here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, there we go. There is the golden ticket. <laughs> right. We sh it should work. Oh, I timed that quite well. But I didn't think I needed to break as much. But we go up the hill and we are in the lead. Final lap of this race. Valentin is four seconds behind and we just hit the tyre barrier again. Not good. We need to be careful with the brakes there. That's lost us a bit of time. But... Just focus, 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 and we will achieve everything we set our mind to. This is the fastest section of the course, going very high speeds here, which should be very interesting. Going nicely there. No other cars to worry about, just clear air and a beautiful car we have under our belts from Marcus. Now, this is the corner we used to have trouble with when we did... Um, races in the preview build but i think we're having a lot more fun with this now especially with the tricky conditions maybe it could be down to the car potentially that we are finding this a lot easier oh jesus we nearly hit the wall we nearly hit the wall ladies and gentlemen jesus that was a nightmare and a half And we come across the line and we win another race. To win an elimination race, you need to stay out of the danger zone when the timer starts counting down. Because as the title suggests, those in the danger zone when it hits zero will be eliminated. The timer is then reset, and the racers closer to the back of the pack will find themselves in the danger zone again. Cars are eliminated and two only one remains, so drive fast, stay ahead, and if you find yourself in the danger zone, then do everything it takes to get out of there. Yes, it is. The excitement is in the semi-pro league and it is elimination. A lot of you guys liked the elimination process last time, so I'm very glad it's back in the story mode again. So, are we ready for this race? Let's go! Aim to stay competitive with That's our path to the pro league. Yes, indeed. And score points for our team as well. And we got a lot of nemesis. I think we got two. Did we get two? I don't think we got two. Oh, come on. Now we got... Oh, Jesus. We missed a the turn there. We definitely missed a the turn there. I don't think we've driven this trap before. So that's something we've got to get used to. Now, this is the first elimination zone. There's 22 of us. So hopefully we won't get eliminated. 
don't think we will get eliminated. Yeah, there's going to be two that gets eliminated. And we're already up to third. This could be a good fight between us three. Have late on the brave. Oh, bugger. Another nemesis. We're going to be having lots of nemesis at this rate. And they spun. They spun. Not good. And we just had a quite a nice overtake there. But we missed the corner. Have to do a bit of drift in there. And oh, Valentin's in the lead and he's our nemesis. So, yeah, that's not good. That means he's going to probably be very, very aggressive. I'm a bit worried about that. But you never know. We like the challenge. Oh, my God. God, God, God. No, 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 no. That's not going to happen, my friend. God is not going to happen my friend for you doing that we survived Woo! <laughs> at the moment right so as long as we don't hit a wall we should be fine and we should reach our objective yes we're in the top 10 we are in the top 10 this is the furthest we've ever made it in elimination so we've got five more eliminations to hopefully help us secure the win but you never know what? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We lost a bit of time there. Oh, bugger. There's four of us left. We said, do not become complacent. We have a danger of becoming complacent here. And it's down to just two of us. Me and Valentine. And I know that Valentine will probably start to pick up the pace a little bit as well. So come on. Come on. We could get the win here. We could get... We, we're not even looking. We're not even looking. Oh, come on. We won. We won elimination. Wow, it is on for us because we beat the whole field. And I'm sure our team principal will be very happy about that. Ritz got in third. Our nemesis, Valentin, in second. And we won. <sighs> that was beautiful. My name is Yume Tanaka. I've been lead driver with Seneca for three years now, and my goal is to become the first woman ever to win the championship. Let's talk about your new teammate for a moment. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about Marcus Addo hiring an unknown? Look, Addo likes to invest in potential, and that's who we are as a team. But when it comes down to it, the thing that matters is, are you actually good enough? It takes serious talent to race across this many disciplines and events in a single season. Racing teams don't survive on effort or good intentions. We need to win. Seneca number 22 and Valentin Manzi really can't seem to stop crashing out on the track. Will they have settled their differences or will they be at war once again? And these stadium trucks are as hard, but sharing a run while battling for position is a Okay then, so the rival that we managed to just beat in the elimination, we've got to beat here. That's going to be a little bit harder than we thought. And we are another track again. And look at that bridge. It just looks beautiful. So, here we go then. The actual event I actually enjoyed in the first video I ever did on Grid Legends. We're going to have a go here. So, this is our car. Obviously, with the Seneca Racing livery. Right, so here we go then. We're about to get started with the race. Here we go. Five laps of this crazy race. And we've got to be our rival, which is also our nemesis too. And we are at Paris. Oh my God, we were meant to go on the jump there. Um, oops. <laughs> that was the Eiffel... Oh, that was the Eiffel Tower. How can we see the jump? Oh, Louis Dixon is our... There we go. We've actually got the jumps now. Here is our teammate. We don't really want to hit our teammate, do we? Oh, side, 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 side. Oh, oh, Jesus. Rick Scott, you idiot. Have we got a jump coming up? Oh, no, we haven't. Okay, I thought we did. 
Oh, we got the lead, but yeah, we've got so many nemesis, so. Jump two. Oh, this jump is beautiful. Okay, here we go. Almost on the third lap. Well, we were almost on the third lap. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That was our nemesis. And, uh, and they've gone into a bit of a spin as well. So they almost made the same mistake as what we did. And we made a, another deadly mistake as well. But the most crucial thing is we are ahead of our rival. So... Right. Oh, no, 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 Airtime. So he, oh, I swear he was like 10th and now he's like first. All right, come on. Valentine, you're not getting past me, my friend. You're not getting past me. <laughs> come on. Oh, 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 oh my god, that was very, very tight. Very, very tight. Go past him. Yes, we got past him. What happened to that car? Was that art body work? Might have been. Oops. Um, right. Not long to go until the end of the race. We're two seconds clear of our rival. So it's either win or die for us, basically, at the moment. Oh, oh, for God's sake! Come on, you donut! Well, we lost the win, but we could still stay ahead of our rival. That was close. That was close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Second. Second place, but we could have been a win there, but, you know, usually we have to pick our battles, but we were a bit too greedy there. But it happens, it happens. Unfortunately, that's all I could show you in today's video. But if you like what you see and want to play Grid Legends for yourself, make sure you pre-order the Grid Legends game, which will be available on PC, Xbox and PlayStation. The link to pre-order is in the description. If you like this video and want to see more of my videos, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know when to see a video from me next. So I'll see you soon for another video. Goodbye.